our research not only addresses a fascinating philosophical question, but it can help us to better understand human emotion, uh, the function of music in society, and the potential role of music in helping people with mood disorders. I think the three minute thesis competition is really important for building research communities amongst our postgraduate students. It gives them a chance to share their research in a really succinct way and communicate it in a way that allows the rest of the world, I think, to understand what they're doing. This interesting diversity of psychology, along with our, our faculty of reason as, as well as cultural influences, create what I call moral ecology which is an interconnected system of norms with differences that pull and push against each other and form a kind of a stable equilibrium overall. It's not only stable, but it's able to respond to changes in the environment as they occur. I think this is a really terrific competition. It, it really forces you to step back um, and think about the big picture and what you're trying to achieve with your, uh, with your research. My thesis explores how postmodernism can be made to sympathise with ecology in a bid to transcend our current ecological malaise. Thank you. I thought the audience was really warm and receptive. I felt very confident as well when I did it, which I don't normally feel. My research is looking at the ways that communities imagine and incorporate rivers and water into their lives. In my thesis, I argue that Faulkner like many other highly regarded American novelists of the first half of the 20th century, were actually deeply affected by the work they did in Hollywood. It's good to see everyone uh, really refining what their, what their thesis is about and uh, trying to communicate that to a, to a wider audience. My thesis overall emphasizes that in intellectual history of um, both the ideas on the pages, now doing that textual analysis, this is what truly restores agency to the reader whose relationship to the writer was much more dynamic than might be assumed. They did a fantastic job at being able to summarise um, what their thesis was about, why it was important, and communicating that really clearly to the audience. So it made our job as judges quite difficult. In the next few minutes, I will not only talk about a PhD project, but I will try to answer a question that perhaps we all ask ourselves at some point. How will this degree make me happy? <laughs> did the same actions in your brains. These mirror neurons not only get triggered when you perform, for example, a hand action, but also when you watch others doing the same action. So why don't we profit from these mirror neurons in education? It's also nice to see how the different way in which students try to present their work to make it as interesting as possible for the audience. That a more positive relationship with the child, higher feelings of empowerment, were both associated with a higher level of overall satisfaction in the role. It's a good way to give people practice and getting some ideas out there, especially with an audience. I'm glad I came. It gave me a very good overview of what a lot of different people from a lot of different departments are doing. All the presenters tonight did a brilliant job. It was a really high standard. Every single topic was interesting. In my thesis, I define the concept of professionalism for the profession of community interpreting. I'll combine a list with a set of skills, abilities and knowledge that community interpreters should acquire in order to perform a professional task. I thought that the uh, standard of, was very good. Uh, the scores were pretty close, so it wasn't easy to decide the, the winners. Uh, well, we were given three criteria. Uh, there was communication, uh, understanding and uh, engagement. People's Choice goes to Sandra Garrido. Congratulations. <laughs> Second place goes to Joanna O'Hara. And first place goes to Tim Dean. Yeah.